What's going on guys, it's Jay here, bringing you guys the very first story time for this channel. Um, I have a very good story. This is my, one of my favorite stories to tell people. Um, because it's just, we're just we're, me and my friends are just so stupid at this time. Alright, so I'm going to lay it out for you guys. So mute me, I'm going to say Elijah and Jack, because uh, I don't want to say their real names. Um, me and Elijah and Jack. Me and Jack were spending the night at Elijah's house when Elijah's mom came home with a homeless person. Okay, she came home with a. It was super weird. So we we were all really super weirded out. Um, and we didn't say. We, obviously, we were eleven, and she was like a seventeen-year-old girl, I think. So she was. I think she might have been a runaway or something. And it was like in the dead of winter, so it was super cold outside. Um, so I guess Elijah's mom did the right thing. We're taking her in, and so I think Jack had a crush on her, so I kept on harassing the girl, telling her, like, oh, this guy has a crush on you. It was so, she probably felt harassed, too. Um, but, so, me, Elijah, and Jack had the bright idea to go outside and egg this house, right? But it's not like somebody was living there. The next day, it was an open house. These people... The salesman or whatever for the house was trying to sell this house the next day, and we just really, really, we were just assholes that day. So, then, we ended up, um, we egged the house, TP'd it also, but we made sure Elijah threw the first egg, because I, I wasn't trying to get in trouble if he was like, oh, you guys, so... He threw the first egg, then we all obviously egged him. It was a lot of it. It was like a full carton of eggs. Like, like I want to say like 10. Like, it was so men It was so bad for the salesman. And probably the buyers too, I assume, right? Like, they don't want to buy a house that is delinquent a little 11 years. Like, this was 5 years ago. So, it was, yeah, five, uh, it might have been even longer than that, to be honest. But, about 5 years ago. So, then, afterwards, we started shoveling our footsteps away because it's in the snow and we're like all right we cannot have footsteps leading to this house that we just egged it's gonna look really bad so we uh we egged that house shoveled our footsteps away we, dude i don't even i've egged houses before in the snow and i don't even think of that now like i don't know how three eleven year olds came up with that but we came up with it and um um, let me come up with a name for the homeless girl. Janice, I guess. Janice? Okay, Janice. That sounds like a really old person name. Janice, she, she, first of all, she was a smoker, which really kind of irritated me because I never really liked smokers. Um, just because of the smell and stuff, it hurt my, it gave me like a headache, gave me a runny nose. Um, so she irritated me a little bit. And Janice comes, so the way the house is laid out is the garage is connected to the house and you go through the garage to get to the side of the house. So we did that, and we sh we shoveled the footsteps from the garage to the house. I think it might have been to like the end of his drive, Elijah's driveway. And then we come back in, and Janice is like, "What are you guys doing?" And we we're so stupid, and we were like three. I don't know what I was doing in this gameplay. I don't know why I jumped up on there. Um, anyways, sorry, I got a little bit derailed. Um. So, us three 11 year olds at probably like 12, one or around 12 o'clock, midnight, one ish, they we were shoveling the snow outside. Yes, we said we were shoveling the snow. I, that has got to be, I don't even shovel snow now, let alone where I do it at a friend's house during a, like when I was spending the night, like I, there's no way. But, um, she fell for it. I don't think she really fell for it, but she couldn't really say anything since sh she wasn't her house. You know, we could, you know, it wasn't her house, so she had not really. She didn't really. Hit, I destroyed that kid. Anyways, she didn't really have a right to say anything. But um, yeah, that's the very first story. Um, started off um a little bit like that, and so this is all these are all gonna be in a playlist, so you guys can just hit play and hear them all or whatever. I have so many stories to tell. There's so many much funnier stories. Um, <laughs> one involves somebody pulling a 12 gauge, like I already said, I think. Um, 
but yeah, this has been the first episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, leave a comment in the bowl. In, leave, just leave a comment. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but just leave a comment. Um, I'll most likely reply since it's probably going to be like seven of you. You guys had a good time.